Uh, the next item is motion read by election for Mead East. Could I call on the Taoiseach to move the writ for Mead East? No, there are five minutes uh, for each speaker. The Taoiseach, the Taoiseach, the leaders um, of Fianna Fáil, Sinn Féin and a representative of the technical group. Cancola, I, I move that the Cancola direct the clerk of the Doyle to issue his writ for the election of a member to fill the vacancy which has occurred in the membership of the present Doyle, consequent on the death of Deputy Shane McEntee, a member for the constituency of Meath East. This vacancy in the membership of the Doyle has resulted from the untimely passing of Minister of State for Agriculture Shane McEntee. During his time in political life, Shane McEntee did an outstanding job both for Ireland and for the people that he represented. Elected in a famous by-election himself in 2005, Shane brought huge energy and enthusiasm and sincerity to his new role as a public representative. His commitment to the people of Meath was unparalleled. The huge outpouring of grief and sorrow at his passing bears testament to the great esteem in which he was held both in his home county and nationally. His qualities were the ones that he utilised brilliantly in his role as Minister of State at the Department of Agriculture, where his dedication to duty was so widely recognised. He did not confine his work to the field of agriculture and food. He was, of course, also a very strong champion for those homeowners affected by the pyrite issue. And shortly before he died, he succeeded in having these homes exempted from the local property tax. Indeed, nowhere was his incredible commitment and compassion more obvious than on this issue. It is my sincere hope that his successor will carry on this Trojan work for the people of Meath East and beyond, that they too will work always honourably and always with that same sincerity. Shane's genuine compassion, combined with his interest in and his concern for people and their lives, allowed him to really excel in his role as a public representative. He was both admired and respected, but above all else, he was trusted. The decision to move the writ today fulfills this government's standing commitment to not leave seats in this House vacant for periods of longer than six months. You will agree that Shane McEntee's absence is still deeply felt in the House, both in his Fine Gael family and outside of it. He did, however, leave a, a rare and a, a wonderful legacy. So the forthcoming by-election will give the people of Meath East the opportunity to select someone to continue the work started by Shane McEntee and to build on his great legacy, Ciancola.